Guys, welcome to today's session and today we are going to discuss about the structure of sales funnels. What are the sales funnel? A sales funnel is literally every step a person, a prospect is taking in your sales page, in your website or, or whatever online to become your customer. It is each step of the process. Okay, so this this particular sales funnel has got different different layers. On the top layer, we have SKUs pages. What is a SKUs page? A SKUs page is literally used to collect his or her, the, the prospect's email ID or contact details. Okay, we usually, we usually collect leads using a lead magnet. See, what is a lead magnet? A lead magnet is an incentive that marketers offer to potential buyers in exchange for their email address or other contact information. This can be a simple product, a simple ebook or downloadable uh, worksheet or checklist, ebook, white paper, videos or, or whatever. So this is kind of a bribe which you give to your prospect to get their contact details. But so this also makes the prospect quali qualified for the sales. Okay. The so next step is a sales page. This is where you actually pitch your product. On the first page, on the first layer of the funnel, on the, on the SKUs page, you are not even seeing the product. You are actually collecting the email ID or, or, uh, or the contact details. On the second page, when they are done with submitting their contact details, they are actually seeing your offer. What is your offer? This is where your sales message goes. Here you have to follow the hook story offer model to convey your message. This is the ideal content structure for best conversions. So what is a hook? A hook to grab your grab the attention, a story to tell what happens and offer tells why you should buy it. Because see the attention span of an average human is very less. It is less than three seconds. So in the first three seconds, you have to hook him, hook the customer to go through your sales message. And when they are hooked to your page, then you should tell them your story. What happens when you buy it? Because people love stories, right? When you are, when you are telling a lot about your product, 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 the specs and all the features of your product, it's not going to make much Im impact. People doesn't like to be sold. They love to hear stories. Okay, this is where the uh, importance of story comes. And after listening to the story, they are almost convinced. And now you are showing the offer. An offer is a combination of your product and the bonuses. Okay, so only after the story, you are actually showing them the offer. And Guys, please, please, please don't forget testimonials. Testimonials play an important role. So now comes to upsells. What, what, what happens when somebody buys from the sales, sales page? You actually sell them more, right? Uh, say you are, you are selling something, you are selling a phone. You are selling a phone online and uh, they, they bought a phone. Next what happens? You try to sell them a pouch also. What is the psychology behind upsells? It is simple. A second yes is always easier. When a guy is convinced to buy from you, you can actually sell him more. This is the simple psychology behind upsells. Also, this upsells helps you uh, increase the card value, improve the card value of the customer as well. I'll, I'll show you an example later. Okay. So now, what, what are these downsells? Downsells, see, and not everybody can afford your offer, right? Some some people can afford more, some people can afford less. So if they cannot afford your offer, you should downsell. You should you should do a downsell. You should give them a low ticket product. This is the importance of downsell. When 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 they are coming to your sales page and when they are saying no, I I don't need this offer, just downsell them. Give them a one time offer of say a, a, a lower version of your product or, or even a free trial will do. See, this helps a customer, a prospect or, or say a lost lead, a, a guy who's, who was about to lo lost, 
get back to you and get an experience, get a chance to experience your product or services. Very valuable, right? This guy might convert to a customer later. Now coming to the thank you page, guys, don't don't create a very boring thank you page because you are showing this thank you page to somebody who trusted you, who spent his money to grab a product or service from you. He's a, he's a valuable customer. Give him surprise or surprise gift. This will help you improve the customer lifetime. He will come back again and buy from you. There is a there is a good chance for this. Uh, give them give them gifts or also don't forget to add them to your community. Add them to your community when you are saying uh, thank you. Also invite them to your closed community where you where you uh, talk more and this also gives you an opportunity to uh, introduce your other offers. Now here are some recommended tools, uh, click funnels for building uh, funnels, these are the tools I use, uh, click funnels for building funnels, active campaign for email automation, follow ups, I even use active campaign for CRM purposes, it has got a very flexible CRM and use many chat for uh, building messenger chatbots. See messenger chatbots don't forget because the messenger, messenger has got a higher con uh, open rate than emails, you know this right? Uh, how often do you uh, open your email and how often do you open your Facebook Messenger? So uh, Messenger have a higher open rate and don't forget it. Okay. Now, now I'll show you, I'll, I'll tell you an example of what happened with a nutrition supplement company. Okay, this company approached me a few, few months back and uh, they had an issue. Their product price was somewhere around 220 rupees and they were doing Google Ads. So what happens is like uh, since their product value is very less and Google was charging approximately 100 rupees for per sale, per acquisition, okay. So what happens, their profit margin was very less, it was somewhere around 20, 20 to 30 rupees, it was very less and they were, their profits were, were horrible, like they, they were not making much money and they approached me for a funnel and they heard the funnel concept somewhere, they approached me and what we did was. We built a funnel for, the, for them and instead of showing one bottle, we tried to sell three bottles, a pack of three bottles. So first what we did, we, we created a SKUs page, it was a herbal product. We created a SKUs page offering them a free book, free book to download, uh, like the health benefits of this, this medical supplement. Uh, we are not mentioning the uh, supplement's name, but we are, uh, we were mentioning the names of herbs we used okay uh, so and we were advertising this offer to download a free ebook and what happens was like people see the offer and uh, chance of uh, acquisition is very very high because it is a free product they can just click and uh, click give give us their email id and phone number and they get the free ebook and when they download the ebook, they are redirected to our sales page where we are selling a pack of three bottles. So instead of selling one bottle for 220 rupees, we sold three bottles for 600. Also, these are the people who are genuinely interested. That is why they have downloaded the book, right? So there was a better conversion rate, I should say. Better, there was a better conversion rate. And if when they buy the pack of three, we gave them a one time offer to upgrade the offer to a pack of seven, a pack of seven for 1200 rupees. And this was a one time offer. When they buy it before they close the window, they get the offer. Otherwise they don't. So there was almost 13%, 13% of people who have upgraded to seven bottles. Okay, you got it. So, so what happened was like, uh, again, we were uh, able to increase the card value of 13% of our customers. And those who didn't buy the three bottles from us, those who say, sorry, no, I, I don't need it. Or those who were about to close the window, they get a downsell of buying one bottle for 200 rupees. And many people have opted for those also. 
So this is how a sales funnel works in an e-commerce business. I hope you understand and I hope it was helpful. Thank you guys. Thank you. Bye. See you in the next session.